Yeah. 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 Do you remember Super United 2015? 2015-16 season. The first round between August and December. Super United was, was playing capital football. It's not penetration. It's not threat to goal. They just played. Was it then then? Yeah, cannot get then then. When they even uh, went to the MTN 8 semi finals with us. Against us, yeah. Yeah. yeah so, uh, our game against Ali uh, reminded me of, <laughs> of 2016 Super United. I think I've never seen us dominate possession and dominate the game the way we did. Uh, uh, against Ali, but there was no threat. Uh, there was no. It was it was ball position w- w- without uh, a- any threat. Like there was no threat. There was no end product. Um, <laughs> you know, you know, but, 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 but yeah, yeah, it, it it was and it was so unlike sundowns this season because like our uh, penetrator through defenses and we in the Champions League and domestic league we score goals like we position yes we dominate possession in all of our games. I I, I haven't even yesterday is I, I don't I can't remember and I was looking through. Uh, the stats before he gave me a malo. There's no game where we we haven't had more ball possession and yeah, ball possession doesn't mean you're gonna win the game, but it gives you a certain a certain control of the game. And when that control of the game, obviously you are likely to score than the opposition. But yesterday we had we had fifty something ball possession and Ali had forty something. But we didn't look at threat. I don't remember Al Shawari making saves. It's it's a one from Konakika Musa, the one year gift late late on. Yeah. Uh, on the other hand, I don't remember Dennis making a save. Yeah, because the one save he attempted to make the ball, he picked up the ball in the back of the net. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah. Tense and at, at this level, like you said, like um, I, I did see you you speaking with someone or chatting someone um chatting someone or you said at this level it's it's about the smallest of margins, like Small, very very fine margins, very fine margins. It's about detail in your That's not a two nil game. I don't know what one want to but in my opinion, that's not a two nil game. No, uh, when I was watching that game, I said. This game either ends zero zero or one not, or yep. or one team absolutely collapses and he has to yeah. not. Yeah, but yeah. we are the ones who collapsed. Uh, I think you know. Uh, I I don't know to do. like um, I, a lot of people like uh, uh, you know obviously like you go on Twitter and just see what people are saying about this game and. A lot of people are blaming the the coaches, even on uh, the fan camps. I saw people blaming the coaches. Um, I honestly don't know why would I be blaming the coaches. Uh, maybe you can say um, they could have maybe made subs and maybe earlier, like in midfield. I think Mavani. I think in this game, uh, your level was was off it. Like he was always one one second late, and his passes were not. You know, Hickory Champions League is about fine margins. You know, putting that required weight on your pass. Uh, 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 it's just being one step ahead, like one second ahead of 
your opponent, like the way you receive the ball, your first touch. So I want to define margins that win you a game in the Champions League because you can do what we did, like have possession, dominate the game. But if you don't take care of the ball, which we didn't properly, like properly take care of the ball, like if you don't nature the ball, you you're in trouble. You will have it, but uh, you won't do anything with it. And I said to you on Twitter, like uh, Monday, I said to you, if if can can occupy. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his surname, the number 13, Benoun, the one they bought from Raja Casablanca, the center mm-hmm. back. Uh, I said if he can occupy him, and Peter will find the spaces. But if occupied um, the number five, I forgot his name, so much that he got a yellow, and I think the coach Peter was so smart to serve him off at half time. Because, exactly, because that's who I would bother until I get a red card. And we get advantage, but I think nah, the only flaw, not the only flaw, but the biggest flaw in this game that I saw, except for the obvious ones that we're still gonna talk about, I feel like Mukulise and Mabuwe yesterday were a second of pace. Yeah, yeah, they, they were. I, I completely, especially um, Lebo, like he was a second late in his pressing. He, he played the, the certain passes, Adifa, like I, I, the Safi, he, his decision making was off. Like he didn't, he didn't, he didn't help out Rivali, the let's say enough in midfield for me. His um, Kulusi was, was, was a bit quiet, but Lebo was, was, his mistakes were out there. Like he made elementary mistakes boy like you don't <laughs> at that level at that level you don't against the champions of africa they'll they'll no matter how better you think you are there uh, you're better than them no matter how the past games you do at that level on that night you have to be on your a a a game we might say ah, this ali team is not playing good football is this this and that but you must remember North Africans mentality about when it comes to knockout stages star Champions League. <laughs> you, you, you see a, diff- a completely different uh, uh, mentality, intensity, quality uh Gabona. So you have to be at your absolute sundowns for Rebaje Al Ali um on Saturday you had to be on on at the top of their game. They had to play everything had to be in sync. Like the pressing had to be insane, the passing had to be crisp, the ten Gaston had to be had to be very good, Shalu had to be good, like everything had to work. And unfortunately for us, they are setting yes, I feel like tech tech tactically both teams were set up to nullify the opposition. Like they nullified our threats. Lib now we nullified their threats. It's the smallest of margin margins that made a difference yesterday. And and level being a bit off that what that was one of the negatives that went against us yeah um when i was looking at that game like around the 60th minute like i wondered who the uh, fitness level the AGD guy because every time we talk about AG, that's the first thing you have to consider you have to, you have to ask yourself yeah. too. you have to ask mm. yourself that question otherwise it it it, 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 it will answer itself and mm-hmm. I thought to myself, I would take out Pelele for AJ. But as the game went on, Karamun, I would take out Lebo for AJ. Because uh, I would... in, in the second half, Pelele was a bit better in the second half. Just a bit, not much. Especially like the way he was intercepting the ball. And Hoka Level Lower, in the second half, most of the time, like when we were in transition, who was starting those uh, 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 moves in transition need to make a pellet. Um, oh. You know, Tuto, um, <laughs> I said to you, Kare Al Ahli, five on attacking car their left hand side. Like, that's where most of their goals come from. And Coach Peter is so smart. 
Oh, it's the the one person who will overlap. Like, and uh, it's not uh, it's not something new for them to attack us at the EU. So, you know, we do it, guys. Like, just your bread and butter. Kikoluja, kikoluja, and kikimi. And that's where uh, um, Hir Mohammed, I think that's his name. The one who scored the first goal, yes, the goal scorer. That's where he was. You know the one thing that I had never realized that Absha. Absha like a very great area. Like he's so good in the half space. He occupies the occupies and the lesson down to old. Yeah, probably, probably. He could. And then come on, they had uh Mohammed Sharif was playing like up top and they had Afsha behind him and they had Hir Mohammed uh, on the left. But Afsha was not as central as you uh, 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 it would uh, you, as central as you would have expected him to. They always go to the left, like hey, on a, he, 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 All right. Yeah, you know, and when I was looking at that team, analysis. Yeah, and heck you know what? This is what made me see her. Oh, there was our, our weakest point, my bad. True, true, true analysis. You did say you were a um, bar attacker from the left side, and that's that's how they get the, uh, the goal came. They overload that side so much, and we we didn't have Gaffer's goal, we didn't have enough numbers to. I feel like the river should have helped Tapelo, but the Tapelo should have closed that man a bit quicker before he took the shot. I feel like the Dennis should have, it went through him, it went through his head. The, the second goal is an obvious uh, error, but in the first one, I feel like Dennis, because he got there and it went through his hands. His, his he, finger he should have, Yeah, he should have definitely done better. But, but you, you know, so, so to cut you off, I want to say something before you continue there. You know, uh, the way you considered uh, the second goal, even, even even the first goal to some extent, you know, Kaveka Hopla Mangmawa, Kahopla Shugamabunda, Le Arenzo on the side. <laughs> Those are our most trusted soldiers, Champions League. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. Kaveka Hopla Arenze, like, that's a victory, yeah. Arenze Lina Cimento, and then with Sugar, like the way. After like was occupying like the half space it's like I'm left because if Sugar was there, these guys wouldn't wouldn't have been as lucky as they were. Pick Sugar closes down that space, yeah, right. Yeah, absolutely right. Mm. But I, I, I didn't feel like we played horribly, just that like I said, uh, I feel like both technical teams nullified the threats to each other and for me it was a nil-nil game. At, at, at West 1 0, either or, because if Jim Tiba scores one of those opportunities, every team parallel, every team nearly off target. Like we talk, we're talking a, a different story because they have to attack down more than their spaces, and it's, it's a different game. But but both teams, like we were not threatening. I don't remember Shalu threatening Al Shawari. I don't remember Gaston threatening Levon. I, I don't remember Masindian pulling saves here, then everywhere. So for me, it was a nil nil game. It wasn't different. It was a two nil game. A nil nil game, it's different. It's next week in Puerto is different. Now it's, it's a different story. We have to go all out attacking. Yeah. Um, what you just said is so important. Uh, if Dubas header doesn't hit the post and the other and like we are leading it's one nil and I, uh, the longer you hold on to your one nil lead, the more these guys panic and the more they come at you and I, I, I'm so interested in watching things come at now. Like that's the one thing that really fascinates me because it always ends one way. <laughs> it always ends one way. I wanted to ask you like. Um... I looked at this in two ways. I looked at the first way, obviously, I sat down scaring. I sat down to went to the Champions in Africa and dominated possession and certain parts of the field. And technically, tactically, it was 
very good off the moon elevated and then kind of like the other angle kind of the other angle because it, it beats all allow especially in the second half it beats all allow us to to think that we are dominating but he knows or he he's, he's in control his defense is in control because we're not threatening yes we're dominating position like like you said but we're not threatening their goals so the the pitcher has that thing there is a lot of concern now where and he, he also said it he also likes say liked saying it guy his press conference is kind of worrying yeah they look like they're scoring but they're not scoring like like i i wonder if that was the 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 tactic tactic for me and because i've seen that i've seen him do that so many times yeah they look like that's cool but they're not so so he might have gave us the position because we like position he might and say okay break us down our leader break us down Or, remember remember when we'd be we'd lead one nil and we just sing and don't worry about much understand <laughs> people who have and puff and they would not go So I wonder if that's, that was the case last night. I swear sometimes it's like we prepare what we, what like we prepare the same or yeah. <laughs> we have a good conversation because funny enough when it was still one nil in my head it uh, gave me feel on one nil. Because I remember what he said and then we were called off us and we were playing it was not like And after the game, he said what you just said, and like that's the one thing that keeps my mind. That, yeah, you will have a path, but you'll do nothing. <laughs> like I, it keeps my mind. And uh, you know the thing is that now we're not looking at him only. We have a lot of people discrediting him because of um, how it's perceived of how he left the team. You know, oh. and it, it's perceived that. Um, Yeah, he, he like he he already wanted, you know, the having talk. Yeah, last year he said about Mukoko was securing a job. I mean, if I want to hire you, you know, and uh, what did he say about Like, what am I thinking? We're out here Muslim, not like it's the same thing. You know, what about your integrity? You see, but it's 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 um it's. It's sad. It's sad to have a mentality like that, and, um, and uh, you know, we we don't like this man because of man control. Like he's 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 won more than any other coach who's come to a club, football club. I mean, mm-hmm. if you love this badge, like where would you love the man who put this thing? <laughs> <in the way? laughs> <laughs> So I think the reason why some people are so mad is that in they in their heads they formulated these stories that discredit him and now when he beat you you get extra mad because in your head you've convinced yourself for a man there's nothing special about him and now when oh, someone yeah. when there's nothing like if I beat you and you don't think there's nothing special about me like how are you going to feel sometimes worse you know what I mean so, yeah, yeah. so uh, I've, I've seen some people even say I even responded to the Twitter for like our people never played good football. Come on man. Think that thing for this season like do you remember what we were doing to teams. We were talking about Mozambique seven not all like do you remember what we were doing to teams. In the 2016 do you remember what we were doing to teams like when 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 this season went in when Pesi won football of the season well, before he won football of the season we win never 17 when we won the league when we didn't win the league as 17 do you remember the type of football we were playing When when Susan Mabera said the most feared man of the Sundowns, he wasn't that's a little fair boy. He, he, he we were literally feared all over the car in the country where we go because of the way Sundowns were playing and were slapping teams. Why was so, the C B D team called the C B D? Why was it called the C B D? Peter wasn't playing good for that's a myth and that's something obviously there's a section of, of our fan base that have their own issues with 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 Pito and this defeat at you know what is some more they don't but when they they sit back and 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 analyze it properly no 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 I I I I I doubt it no 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 Some people uh, they've con- really convinced themselves or you know okay okay nothing special about it. <laughs> I don't think people some people will ever see it like that I I doubt it I doubt it unfortunate it's unfortunate but it's yeah. Easy. yeah but going back to to um i think his his tactics worked like perfectly even though 
I will everything be there, Lord. But you know what it reminded me of? Mm-hmm. It reminded me of the goals against uh, Amazulu and Black Leopard. Remember after the Amazulu game, and we were standing, call of us, no, no, uh, go, go Muribe. Remember when we played Amazulu in the telecom and we, we hit the ball in between Mario Boysens and the goalkeeper? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. remember we did that with Black Leopard? Yes. Where, where Gaston just came and, and he just like, remember mm-hmm. we were standing on the side and he came to me and he said, go look at the goal against Leopards, go look at the goal against Amazul and tell me what you see. It's luck. And, and, tell me if it's and luck. it was, yeah, Aaron, tell me if it's luck. <laughs> you, and I, he didn't like, he, that's all he said. And then he he walked away. And Gary, what is this guy talking about? And then I went back, I leveled like Gamer and Leopards, Gamer and Amazul, and I was like, oh. Neo just mentioned something. My boy against Chiefs, with him be. Exactly. So sometimes you ask yourself, who really like, <laughs> is, it, is it, I wish as we were saying this, uh, uh, Neo can edit in, in like, I'm not gonna like, the, the highlights is really good too, so that like, people talk, can be refreshed. Yeah. So, so that's why the car, uh, what's that? The move. What? Like, because obviously, like the reason why from Po is sorry, I hit. I don't play. Mm-hmm. Played with him for so long. Mm-hmm. So you can tell me, Peter, I did Marco Denis. Like if you play in this area, like, 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 like. Um, I looked at our games against uh, Paris this season where we beat them in three. Rani had massive, <laughs> a massive hand in that because he knew. He he yeah, Nali Mitchell built 80% of that squad. <coughs> so they knew we, they know this is and strength some um, that if they know if you press Ben and do this, they know if you go against Marco and just do that against Jelly, against and he knows he he's got all the intel. So you might say Lipito knows literally the only new the only two new players who started yesterday by uh Apasa Talam beat. Otherwise, oh, oh, otherwise, everyone does it too. Everyone does it. So he knows, he knows what the, actually he knows what they eat for breakfast. He knows everything. Did you hear? After. Did you hear the first half? He was screaming, left, 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 right, right, right. Hey, a ball over, right, right, right. I foot, I foot. Then got it. say. <laughs> These are things you'll never hear, like Honaldi supporter, but like he was shouting at them who were like, our words are like, this person is right footed, this one is left footed. You know what I mean? And like, Harry, the amount of detail, and that game, to be honest with you, that game was highly technical. That game was highly technical. I feel like, like, like our technical team got it right. Like, we nullified. We did. Uh, Ali, like, our technical got it, our team got it very right. Like, our tactics on the net got it. Just that luck here and there. Give scores. Um, but my, my own younger doesn't, doesn't make those two mistakes. Like, it's it's a fine margins game. It's not a two game, like I said. So, both fascinating game, technically. Fascinating game. Just that luck, luck of the draw sometimes goes against you. Hopefully next week it'll be it'll be different. It'll be different. That's true. That's true. Uh, let's let's go into the ratings. Ah, you just call it. Masin the um zero. What? <laughs> you disagree? No, not zero. I, 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 the, the, it the same more. It's, it's, Yo, it's, you see? You're emotional. It's, it's, no, it's okay. true. True, you're right. Everybody is somewhere is the first goal. The second goal, I've seen... Like, Pizzotto was... Uh, you've seen De Gea make that mistake. You've seen Ellison make that mistake. Manolo makes that mistake. Eh? So, it, it, it's not... That it's in the budget quarter final Champions League. No, it's not in the budget the quarter final. It happens. But getting to the ball and not your know, your know, your hands not being strong enough to put the save in like, is, is 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 what pisses me off more than the the second goal. The second goal, it's a mistake. It's 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 a it's a horror mistake. It it might cost us the tie. It's a horror mistake. I won't I won't 
I won't sugarcoat it, but in God this time more, there's a first one. Because I've seen the the second goal in and up to to many the players before. Yeah. It, 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 it happens, it happens. So yeah, so when all our says you for no says zero, yeah, we'll No no, let me ask you one thing about uh this Mavan. What do you say about his defensive organization? The thing I just told you now, get a couple of was shouting on the on the on the bench. Do you hear Denise play and like for um you know like if you look go back and watch that game without the emotion, you realize that Denise was coaching half that game. <laughs> what time Royal Mutter go Aubrey, go Aubrey, like off the ball. Anticipate, anticipate. And then I, I, I and he would like intercept the pass. Um, the very same thing Coach Peter was doing, he was doing. Tabolo is to the left back. Now Tabolo left, Tabolo left. Tabolo knew this guy's left foot, whatever happens, he took the ball on the left. He'd be like, right, right, right foot, right foot, and then like, I'm also on the left side. What does that say to you about this goalkeeper? If, if he can do that. And, his his voice was the loudest in terms of uh, uh, the way he he was conducting, like how we should move and the things we should do. I think the, the mistakes, like obviously, overshadowed the whole thing. Like those are the headlines of the of the game. But to be honest with you, Pedro, it's not a zero. I, I I judge it. Yeah, right. In everything that you said, I judge I judge it solely by how he, he impacted the game and he affected the game and this guy this game he affected the game in and for me in a negative way. I, I understand and appreciate what you're saying about how well he organized the defense and that cool char like from from the goalkeeper position but the two mistakes might well have knocked us out of the Champions League and that's how I am I'm, I'm, I'm rating this medium harsh we are harsh. We think I'm harsh, but I don't know. I don't know. No, no. I'll I'll allow you. I'll allow you to have that rating. I'm not so, gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna dispute it. Yeah. No. Yeah. We can. We can move on. Um. I think Aubrey had a good game. We did. We did. I think Aubrey had a good game. I personally would have started Lyle before yesterday, but same. Aubrey. Aubrey had a good game, and 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 he's keeping his position in the team. On merit, he had a good game. He at the, he played that left back position very well, very well. And another thing about him is then like he wasn't losing the ball cheaply, and he was, you know, remember what Coach Bit used to say to Villa, or when Villa Lima Carlo, when they're in the box, but the like a made he's like they are calm uh, in in that situations. And Obri was in a lot of tight situations. Now I'm impressed, but. He was calm. He'd always find Blesa. He'd always find Gaston. He'd always find uh, Mutuba. Like he'd always find the river. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, that's completely near high. But I saw he's uh, made the team of the of, of the weekend. The most hot call. Yeah, yeah. And when I thought about it, I was like, I don't think there was a better performance left back uh, this past weekend. Um, I'm gonna give Aubrey a six. Six, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, Libuza. I'm gonna give you an element to simulating if I can. Oh, yes, I, please. I thought, I thought they, were the, they played well. I thought mm-hmm. as a sheriff, they handled him very well. They handled the like the crosses because Ali uh, like uh, uh, Neo and times so said on Go Yilkon, Ali crossed the ball literally Coach Rudan said in his shot uh, press already they average about 14 crosses per game that's a lot of crosses in in the whole average against other teams in the Champions League so they handled that very well and Lemento helped us <laughs> helped us <coughs> play from the Bless bag. you and shut up. <laughs> he helped us got playing from the back. Libusa did the same. They 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 couldn't have done anything either uh, got both goals. So yeah. 
We answered the I question mean, very well. They did. They did. I'm not sure between a five and a five point five. Mm. 5.5 5.5 football yeah. Yeah. yeah you know you know what I would have done before yesterday's game mm. <laughs> you said you would play a back three no uh, no really a back three and it's not because Mento is horrible Mento is good but I would play right foot and centre back you would have played you, you would have played uh, I know, yeah. Not even Druk. If Druk was not on the bench and Brian Onyango was on the bench, what does it say to you? Oh, Druk was on the bench. Yeah, like I'm saying Brian Onyango based on what the coaches, uh, like who they selected in the match squad. Because, okay. yeah, mm-hmm. if Druk is fit, I would start the Druk because of, I mean, it's even obvious, like there's no need mm-hmm. because of what. But mm-hmm. to be honest with you, I think this game, second leg, requires a red foot center back because uh, we are a second lead, two seconds lead actually, coming out. And then uh, uh, Ali regained their shape when we are supposed to catch them off guard. Do you know why? Because uh, Mento has to pivot his body a particular way so that he can get a clean. Clean, uh, so, far. What you're saying, I saw that happening on two instances where uh, it lay on his right foot and he had to adjust his body so that he can really play, play the pass. No, I get what you're saying. And then I get what you're saying. the moment he adjusts his body, he gives Ali an advantage in terms of their pressing. Moilumur, they are supposed to be late on their pressing, which we were for 90 minutes. Oh, oh nah, they get the advantage of Horimento has to pivot his body to get a clean pass. And in some instances, he can get a clean pass because they're pressing his, his left hand side because he's with his left foot head, and he takes it back to the knees. Even though we were brave at some instances, like we still played back. But now it puts us at a disadvantage because those guys close out every, every space that we need to play the ball and progress the ball. So we progress the ball seconds later and you know what it does to us it, what you know what it does to us it it becomes the reason why blesser and Mulebu had a bad game i'm not saying they had a bad game because of this but it also adds on that because somewhere somehow these guys have an advantage Yahuri. they are always a second early uh, uh the pressing party and now not all our passes will be clean Mohum, you don't have all the space here, Huru. You can just pass, play it first time. You have to control it. Give yourself an advantage. Yeah, Huru. Oh, a clean pass. And uh, you won't always get a clean pass. That's why we couldn't bring at least five, six passes. Together. And mm-hmm. I think it's because we are playing two left center, uh, two left foot center back. When we play in the, in the, in, in the PSL, Obviously, these teams are, are, are shitting their pants against us, so they're not pressing the way Ali is pressing us. I was about to say well, the difference between the PSL and the Champions League. You know, I've seen so to, to go up to look a bit. I've seen people say, "Yeah, no, um, I know Castro for one is better," but mm-hmm. I've seen people generally think the Champions League is a myth because Chiefs are doing like the toughness for Champions League is all a myth because Chiefs. Have, have 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 done well on their poor side. The mm. difference in quality in the Champions League, the PSL, boy, is it's so why born? And what you're saying proves that. Like in the PSL, we can get away with Mento being uh, a second league because, like, these guys are like between against against mm. the top team. In the LA, it, it, that second counts for 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 a lot. It it, it decides how. How Leangu Pil and Atunu Dele Jala there, so so the difference in the quality in the Champions League in the PSL, don't 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 let what's happening uh, back as a cheese fool you. It's, yeah. it's 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 a different level. It's a different level, and we saw that yesterday. What you're saying is an excellent point. We saw that yesterday, and yeah. Another thing is that if if the ball is played outside the Mendo, which do even when they're not playing as they're playing everyone for him to clear the ball 
he's not comfortable in his right foot. I can see clearly mm-hmm. the same time. He's gonna maybe wait for a bounce or try to do something else. Maybe no maybe sometimes you can just clear it and maybe you win the second ball by luck, catch them off guard, and then just movement, movement or whoever speed that I ball through and we we catch a break and we get a goal out of nothing. When we are playing cut this left center two left foot center back. We 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 don't get a chance of getting something out of nothing. We literally have to like grind it out. Same way yeah. our best chances came from at set piece because we yeah. really have to grind it out. So if yeah. the rook is not fit enough to start and the, co- like the coach is putting Brian Oyango on the bench, they're, they're telling us that Brian Oyango is more ready and ahead of I the hate. rook. Play him. I'd rather lose. Ready to say something's right and lose. Mm. When you can always say, hmm, in hindsight, we can fix one, two, three. You know what I mean? Mm. Not that Men is bad or he didn't play well yesterday. He played very well. But Ali has an advantage over us on that aspect. So, tap it. Um, I think he also played well. Uh, at one point, he was our... He looked like our creative spark, especially the first half, because he was the one who was taking on. I'm not sure how many doubles he completed, but I, I, I will go out on a limb and say he probably had the most doubles, maybe if not for the game on our side. Uh, because he, at one point, like he was eliminating two players, and but um, you, at certain points, like he didn't have help in terms of. Uh, and also, uh, maybe I'm tired of sounding like a broken record to go to the final ball. We always speak with you. Oh, sorry, the one thing we always cry about is the final I'm tired of saying it. Ball. I'm tired of saying it. But to be honest with you, uh, I think our fullbacks played well yesterday. Pablo played well. And um, he could have done better for the first goal. But not because I've... Uh, I've seen you know, that's that's where Ali score, irrespective of who they play. Um, uh, I'm not gonna put much on it, like Hurri. Yeah, but even though he could have done better, um, I think he played well. How much did I give Aubrey? A six. A six. Yeah. Mm, I'll give Tabelo a five point five. Along with the center backs, yes, I, 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 it's, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, the one person who was a bit yeah now <coughs> beside my boy I think Liana he was he wasn't like there like he wasn't at his 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 absolute best he was and when the river is when your six is a bit off the, the rest of the midfield it, it looks a bit off he he gave away especially in the first half he gave away Proposition too cheaply, too too cheaply. So I like the river. Um, mm-hmm. The second half he improved. Uh, he, he really improved the second half. Finally, when Blesa when he improved, Le Blesa improved. So yeah, now can I give him a open five? Oh, oh, perfect rating. That's um, our entire midfield four point five two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Our so entire midfield. Left. Eh? Yeah? Oh no. No. River Le Blesser 4.5. Lebo is a three. Right. Yeah, definitely. Lebo is a three. Yep. Mara. Yeah, we touched. Mara. When I when I when I look at it in what I just previously said now, there's no way River was gonna uh not go not gonna lose balls when those guys, by the time the ball gets to our midfield, they have covered every blade of grass you can think of. The passing lanes are closed. The passing lanes are closed. They are, I, I, I mean, you know, to be honest with you, if we were just a notch higher in terms of our intensity and our sharpness, I'm telling you. Because he was not at his best. He was not at his best. But he looked 
like he wasn't his best because we always give him a second to uh, what 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 you are saying is one of the first things i thought about in the morning today how to do consider go what you say ka our being a second late we gave him space in midfield to turn and look for that pass yeah yeah to the left channel where uh, mohammed uh, yeah the goal scorer mm. cuz early day i'm 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 positive we gave him so much time that midfield to attempt to ball look up and, and and find that pass if we were tamko and dalang normally intensity and help press i would have pressed them he wouldn't have found that pass as easy as he found it so mm. we made him look very good yesterday even though he was not his best oh yeah. midfield this mid- season he hasn't he hasn't been that aludengwa last season and uh, the other S- season he hasn't been at his best S- suffered from covid like the um, remember he he got covid he hasn't mm-hmm. looked like like the beast he was when early when the champions league that season so yeah, yeah he, he made him look very good yeah um Gaston, oh my God! Also, he played Gaston Mavane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He not his absolute best, but I think that was one of because maybe I, I can't think of other ones, but that was one of his best performances for us this season. Not like okay, attitude wise, the body language of Jaime Mavane was different from the Gaston I've been seeing in the Premier League in the past games, and I think that's what made me happy that he's. But I'm who knows maybe like he's trying to impress his, 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 his yeah his potential <laughs> suitors you know what I mean but if yeah, it helps yeah. us then I don't care you can do it my man you know what I mean but I think he was one of our 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 I can't say best because we didn't we we were lost the game you know uh, one of our good performers yesterday so I'm going to talk about Gaston I'm not sure between a five point five and a six. Okay, 5.5. 5.5, yeah. Yeah. Um I think that was super quiet yesterday. You are super was. quiet. They, 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 I think they they appreciated that he's he's a threat from our side like he he, he scores a lot of goals for us and they did a lot of work on him. He's our best player this season. Yes, yes, definitely. They did a lot of work on him so they nullified him. he and that drift up uh, uh, maybe he'll take the glory um when we out of position he go to the right uh, and 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 help that channel ila so yeah, even so even when we play pirates that's how he was playing yeah true true mm. true um 4.5 no not 0.5 no 4 Yeah um I was actually going to give him three not to be honest with you or maybe 3.5 Okay okay because yeah no he was off it mabane like he but I think bomb threw him down I think they really made like they they did a lot of work on the shadow league Yeah and it's so surprising like it's do you you would you would, you would think and you would know the technical team Musi Kevin Johnson Diesel um they had the whole technical team would would appreciate and recognize Peter Shalili as a threat a big threat to them and they worked on him and it worked for them yesterday he was quiet yeah he was quiet but it's okay he's going to score a brace next week against them I thought gift worked hard and he was unlucky to hit the post the ill also he become fun like that you know yeah. every time i i watch gift play since his uh, i think their past games where he played well for orlando uh, against marids back against chiefs i i always remember of his number 38 the gift at paris asha papala and then and he was so clear on goal asha papala i think he was only 20 how old was he then i think he was 21 and we scored in September's one and then like after we got five more goals and Robert is not and I thought about it, this boy could have won Paris that game that day or could have changed the complexion but I, since that day like I appreciated that boy that game because I could see who he 
the threat, but he was unpolished there and Kovaroka he became better, Kovved became better and now he's looking like he's mm-hmm. there's a chance of him reaching his potential go mm-hmm. 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 yeah, very happy. I was happy the technical team played him like they didn't cheat like they they fair technical team when you're in, you're playing well the 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 continue with you so I was happy guy now um I'm not sure between the six and the five point five mm, I think I'm gonna give him a six a six yeah yeah I think yeah. let's give him a six uh, another thing is that there was no way you were not gonna play him against Ali because. What he gives us now is is what we need. He gives us the strength, the physicality, and he plays a lot of balls. And Mavani, he stole one as well. Uh, Ko Orlando, when he came on, he stole two. Mavani, he stole one. And he got our only shot on target. Kafet uh, half, like a second half. And I thought, that if he... And you saw, he was running off celebrating already. And... Yes. It would have been so sweet because Coach Peter is the one who was really, 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 really looking to find him. And how poetic it would have been that the one player that you you you, you fought for so much in the team nearly give uh, Lily Aubrey for mm-hmm. them to perform the way they did. Like it was gonna be so poetic and so good, so nice. Yeah. The but, eh? Okay, they might still have a say next week. Exactly. You see, uh, uh, you have Mbazwane coming next week, which gives us a good headache because they put so who are they going to rest? Oh, who is Halai? Exactly. On Taman. Like, on Taman. Because not to be honest with you, Nagin Sagaston. <laughs> you have to make a decision. Because Chaluri and Gif Mutuba on right now, uh, they, they make things happen. Unless... If you revert to uh, front three at Smegbol and you play Erasmus, Shalulile, and Mchish, we, you know, we need a big result here, so you have to make big decisions. Decisions, but the one I think we can both agree that she has to play next week. No, definitely he has to start. Kemba has to start. She can. She can. She can. has to start. A lot. We like we like saying this, but a lot of rest on Temba to join us dancing next week. <laughs> she has hamstring or groin or whatever it is, it had to be hundred percent. And his dancing shoes need to be on next week. We need Temba Zwane, and we need Temba Zwane that's been playing in the Champions League. So yeah, then I would drop Gaston. Yeah, that's true. Uh, even though Gaston performed so well, uh, I would drop him. The uh, decision you have to make. Yeah, it's a decision you have to make. Um, but uh, I also wouldn't mind having Kemet and Gaston coming off the bench. I mean, okay, exactly. That's a, hell, that's a hell of a bit. And I was thinking yesterday, Kapinga, especially the second half, where Ali were having a mid to low block and the spaces were tight, that boy Kapinga would have been effective, would have been effective if he was on the bench. I wonder. I just so let me tell you, now. I know Rosa, you you have to make subs according to what the game says, but I'm telling you now, now would have my subset. Gaston, Emmett, Kapinga, AJ. These four. <laughs> yeah. 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 So who came on? Uh Lyle came on and he looked lively. He, he did, he did on the left hand side, he did. Yeah. Lyle was cool, I think. Yes. Mkumaliana didn't look like a boy who was playing MDC last season. Last season, yeah. yeah. Mm. But I, I, I don't want to read them. It, it's a loss. Yeah. They didn't finish the game. <laughs> they didn't do anything. Yeah. Like, I just want to read the first the starting 11 and the coaches. I'm interested to hear your ratings of the coaches. Um, tactically, I, I, I thought they got it. The way... I, I, I remember I, I told you there are two ways of looking at it. Um, what we, one is we dominated early at home, or two, they let us think we're dominating. So I'd like mm-hmm. to, I'd like to look at it as we dominated them. I guess it got the four or one, but I'd like to <laughs> view as 
we dominated them. So I think that tactically you got it spot on. We dominated, dominated in battle command. You can't say you dominated, but you just took another part. Yeah. If you, if you watch the game, then you know what I'm talking about. Tactically, they were good. Um, the starting lineup was good. It's just the sub level for me. I would have sub level in the 60th minute and brought on AJ. I know, like you said, I know if it is AJ, but that's the only negative thing I thought uh, the technical team would that Sabia lay with the AG. Otherwise they 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 got it they got it right. They got it right technically. That's why that's what another thing in Pahu put it put it we had planned and the plan of if you or Ella Yatena or Musali Wusa why you call it early on in the first half was uh I said peace Ella. It, it, it's a different game. So tactically, I thought they were right. Starting it up, they got it right. It's just a Sabia level for EJ that I, I would have made. I would have thought maybe it would, have, it would have made a difference. So coaches, for me, I'll give them a six. A six. Yeah. Okay. I'm not mad at that. Uh, we've said we've said everything we wanted to say. I came here. Yeah. All is said now. All we, we are waiting for. He yellow corner on Friday. Uh, in the game on Saturday, right? Yeah. Yeah. Are, are you ready to hear who was going to happen in the game? Yeah? <laughs> okay. When you said that, there's something at the statement, there's something that you want to tell me. <laughs> are you ready or not? Yeah. I think I'm ready, yeah. We're going to win that game for one. That's it. Thanks for watching Matanda on the vlog. Uh, Subscribe to the channel while well, uh, uh, well, this thing is swelling in his head. Subscribe to the channel, share this video, and we'll come back to this post. See you in the next one. I'll head to that. <laughs>